Taylor Swift is reportedly heading back to the big screen, joining an all-star cast featuring the likes of Margot Robbie, John David Washington, and Anya Taylor-Joy, to name a few. As for what the movie's about or what character Taylor's going to play, uh, it seems like we're in for a huge surprise. Let's get into it. According to multiple reports, Taylor Swift is giving acting another shot in a big way, starring in a film written and directed by five-time Academy Award winner David O. Russell. The upcoming film, which is presumably titled Canterbury Glass, is said to be a period piece set in the Great Depression about a doctor and a lawyer who form an unlikely bond. In this new project, Taylor got to share the big screen with bankable movie stars like Robert De Niro, Christian Bale, Rami Malek, Zoe Saldana, and Chris Rock aside from the other A-listers we mentioned earlier. Now, this Hollywood film has apparently already wrapped production, which means that it shouldn't be too long before it makes its way to theaters everywhere. And honestly, the sooner the better because they're keeping most of the details under wraps. So it goes without saying, but as of the making of this video, we're all still in the dark about Taylor's character in the movie. The release date is also being kept a secret, but what we do know is that this big production will be released by 20th Century Studios. And we also know that the writer and director of this film has worked with actress Jennifer Lawrence in three of his last four movies, which are Joy, American Hustle, and Silver Linings Playbook. And not only was J-Law nominated for an Oscar for each film, but she went on to win the coveted award for her starring role in Silver Linings Playbook, so this movie is bound to get lots of attention around award season. As for Taylor, well, we haven't seen her play a character in a movie since she brought to life Bumble Arena in the 2019 musical Cats. And though the movie wasn't exactly a box office success, Taylor not only got the chance to get in the skin of her favorite animal, she was even nominated for a Golden Globe for her original song in the film, Beautiful Ghost. Early last year, Taylor told Variety that she had no regrets about her role in Cats, even though the project bombed. She said, quote, I had a really great time working in that weird movie. I got to work with the sickest dancers and performers, no complaints. Well, if all the rumors and reports are true, then today's biggest pop stars seem to be taking over Hollywood, as we have Harry Styles starring in Don't Worry Darling and My Policeman, Lady Gaga in House of Gucci, Ariana Grande in Don't Look Up, and now Taylor in Canterbury Glass. We can't wait to see all of these music superstars on the big screen, and who knows, they might even surprise us all with new music as part of their film. Film soundtracks. Fingers crossed. To find out which of Taylor's songs should have been singles according to Swifties, click right over here. Also, let me know down in the comments what you think about Taylor's return to acting. I personally am going to prepare by rewatching the Wildest Dreams music video just to get an idea of what she might look like in this new movie. As always, I'm your host Renee Ariel. You can follow me on socials at Renee Ariel, and I'll see you next time.